Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kaden. I'm back again with another video. I was about to start recording this video and then I realized there was a bunch of patches on my face so I had to go shave, I had to go clean up. I was looking all musty. But anyway guys, I'm back at it with the Scarface shirt. Um, so yeah, I haven't posted in a couple weeks. Uh, it was a really busy past two weeks. I had my last week of school. I had to finish out the semester. I still have a couple homework assignments I gotta do. I actually was recording a vlog uh, that I was doing and then it turns out that well, like, I had already known, but I didn't know that the audio wasn't working. The mic on my camera broke, so if the audio is a little bit off, excuse me. The mic broke. I was so mad because when I was looking back, I was going to edit and upload it. I didn't have any audio. I do have some of the clips from the vlog. I'm going to throw them in right now. It was pretty dope. Um, I ended up doing a video shoot and a little photo shoot. It was so fucking dope. I've never actually seen a drone in action. It was, like, the coolest thing ever. But anyway, guys, I'm going to show you guys those clips. I'll show you guys a new uh, wicker bill I just bought, and then yeah, we'll jump right into the video. Alright you guys, so as you already saw, as you already saw in the title of the video, we're actually going to be removing the steering wheel and we're going to be redesigning and rebuilding my own steering wheel, steering wheel that I like. My originally what I wanted to do is I wanted to buy a steering wheel off of Aza Auto Wheel. In case anybody doesn't know what that is, Aza Auto Wheel is a company that makes steering wheels. In my opinion, they make the dopest steering wheels out there and I really wanted to get one for the car. The only thing is, is they charge you an arm and a leg for a steering wheel. Like literally the steering wheel I wanted was like $1,100 and I was like, oh my gosh, literally with that money I can buy a camshaft, I can buy so many things with that kind of money. I'm not rich, I'm literally broke, I don't have $1,100 to spend on a steering wheel, so yeah. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to take off the old steering wheel, I'm just going to redesign into what I want and what I think is going to look dope. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into you guys. So as y'all know, I got 5% tint all the way around, so it's super dark in here, so I went to go ahead and get the light to... Uh, Hopefully save the quality of my video and show you guys what I'm actually working with. Here's the steering wheel. Um, next up is definitely getting rid of those gauges. Those gauges are so ugly. I don't know what Dodge was thinking. But here's the steering wheel right here. It is absolutely... I already put paddle shift or uh, like extensions for the paddle shifters on it. Um, so it looks a little bit better. But honestly, like the steering wheel's got to go. It actually looks pretty good on video. I can't lie. But in real life... It's just all dirty as you can see. It's all messed up. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and take it off. I'm not going to do a DIY on this because I don't even know how to take the steering off myself. I'm just going to kind of wing it. So yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to jump right into it. Oh yeah, so first step, anytime you're working with airbags, you always want to remove the battery because you know you don't want to break your nose or anything just in case it blows up. Uh, in Challenger, the battery is actually in the trunk. Most of the, most cars, well, I'm used to the battery being in the trunk because that's how it is like in every BMW there is. So um, yeah, so I know, I know I talk about BMWs a lot, but it's just because like that's all I've really ever owned. My mom had a BMW. It was the first car that I learned how to drive with. I had an E90 and an E92. Um, and then I have the E30, it's at the shop right now, which is actually going to be coming back within the next two weeks. But I know I talk about them a lot, but it, that's really what I have a passion for. But anyways, I don't want to go on a tangent, so we're going to go ahead and remove the battery right now. Guys, when I tell you guys, my heart literally just stopped right now. Um, I was trying to remove, I have my safety glasses on, but I was trying to remove like the the negative terminal on the battery and I couldn't get that bitch off so I, I went to go look at a YouTube video real quick and I noticed that all the other batteries from this generation or this year of Challengers um, they look super different and I'll show you guys right now but I was looking at the thing right now and like I got it off I got the positive terminal off right there as you can see but it looks so much different than than like the other ones on YouTube and I was like what the fuck and then like I fucking put it back on and a fucking spark happened, and I got hella fucking scared because I don't know if you guys know this, but um, these are these are like acid lead batteries. So basically, these batteries are made with fucking acid, and and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there's vents in these batteries, and the vents are I don't know where they're at, but there's vents somewhere on this battery, and they come they come so like the batteries get hot, so they vent to release like the air and shit, and if you spark. And if you spark like I did right now, I sparked the positive, um, I mean, I sparked the, yeah, the positive, oh, fuck, excuse me, I can't talk, I sparked the negative, 
well, the sm like, because these batteries get hot, well, like, the smoke from the acid, if the spark ignites the smoke, it will blow the battery, and that's how you can blow up a battery. But if you blow up a, ba a battery, it's extremely dangerous, like, because um, the acid is literally, it's acid, it'll melt your face off, and it will actually cause you to go blind if it gets inside your eyes. So when I saw the spark, I was like, oh, shit, like, so that was scary as fuck. Um, I'm actually really, like, nervous now, but I ended up getting that, so hopefully the car shouldn't start, the air, the, the battery should be disconnected by now, um, but yeah. Alright guys, so I'm back, um, yeah, nothing like getting, um, nothing like getting, uh, scared to start off the day, but you know, sometimes fear keeps you alive, so it's not always bad to be scared, but yeah, that's honestly, like, one of my worst fears by working on, I literally, by working on cars is literally blowing up a battery that's like, like, that's, like, the scariest thing ever, because it's, like, bro, those things will blow up in your face, and, like, you're fucked if they do, and, um, yeah, and they're super loud, and they're just really bad, so, and that's the thing, going to the automotive industry, our batteries are, like, one of the most, like, common things with cars, batteries die literally all the time, so you gotta, they're constantly being replaced, they're constantly being jumped, so that's just one thing that's, like, I hate working on our batteries, but, you know, as long as you're safe, you do things the proper way, you should be fine. And yeah, so nothing like getting scared to start off the day, but anyways, sorry the reflection on my safety glasses, but I'm glad that it was wearing, I mean it didn't blow up or anything like that, but still, always wear safety glasses guys. Um, anyways, so now I'm going to, hopefully the car doesn't start now, which means uh, the battery is disconnected, which I did disconnect the positive terminal. So now I should, um, I should be able to take off the steering wheel safely without the airbag blowing up in my face, but yeah, get right to it. Another reason why I want to switch the um, like key fob, like uh, push start to like actual crank is because when you're not paying attention and you disconnect the battery while the car is locked, I gotta reconnect the battery and unlock the car because my dumb ass left it unlocked. So here we go. Hell yeah, never mind. We ain't gotta connect, reconnect the battery. We got a key, I can put it in the door handle. Now this just pops off. Don't blow up. Ta-da! And now it's time to take the airbag off. All right, now that we got the airbag off, um, that was pretty simple. The, those two yellow connectors, as I said, they just pull off from the orange tab, and then there's that small black one. That one literally just pulls out. Now, I believe so that there is a bolt right there in the middle right there. Uh, and that one comes out, and I think there may be two other ones somewhere. And then you pull those out, and the steering wheel should come right off. On to Home Depot because I gotta get the bolt out of, um, like, or it's not even a bolt, it's I gotta get like a hex. I don't know what you call it, honestly, but it has to go inside the uh, steering wheel and then pull it, and then it should come out. Unfortunately, I don't have like the right um, tool to get it out, so I'm gonna head to Home Depot, buy the right one, and then come back and take off the steering wheel. <laughs> Bag secured. This one should fit because I believe it's 10 mil, so this one should fit. But yeah. 335, 335, 335, uh, E60. I'm 100% sure. Oh, sorry, I got my mask on. I'm about 100% sure that those people steal BMWs. I only say that because I knew a guy. I knew, or I knew, knew of a guy, and we were kind of friends because you know he was into BMWs as well, and he took his car there to the shop. And they told me he had a blown ECU and we'll buy the car off you. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how do you go in for, like, something? So, I don't remember what he went in for, but, like, the car was working and he just wanted to get it checked. And they told him that the whole ECU was blown out and that they'll buy the car off him. And they basically talked him into it. So, I'm pretty sure those people steal BMWs. I could be completely wrong. I don't even know. That's just my assumption. But, yeah, they got a shit ton of BMWs in there. I saw an M3 in there one time. It was so clean. Anyways, back to the video. Uh. Why the fuck is this bitch not wanting to come out? So unfortunately, uh, Mr. Impact was not wanting to work and I don't want to strip the nut. So breaker bar, this is our last resort to get that bitch off, dude.
are you guys? So I'm actually back in the laboratory. Um, that's gonna be a wrap for the video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I think what you really do need to take off the steering wheel is not necessarily like a really like breaker bar or put a lot of strength into it. What you need is two people. I ended up, one of my uh, one of my friends ended up helping me just hold on to it. And then um, when they held on to it, that's when I pushed the breaker bar. And after that, you hear it pop and the bolt will start to loosen up and you can just take it right out. Back in the laboratory, I got the steering wheel right here. Um, I'm gonna make this into two parts because uh, it's just a long process. But um, the second part should be the interesting part where I actually redesigned the steering wheel. Um, and the second part, in the next video, I'll actually explain what I plan on doing to it, but it's gonna be pretty cool. So tomorrow, I work all day. Um, damn, I forgot I work all day tomorrow, but hopefully I can go get all the materials I'm gonna need, aka I'm gonna need, I look so white, by the way. I need Alcantara um, and some paint. So yeah, this is gonna look really dope, though. And yeah, so other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next. I'll catch you guys on the other side. Y'all stay safe.